Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm going to give you one of my secrets <clears throat> that has helped me to lose 73 pounds in, <clears throat> excuse me, 11 months. And it's something that I've done since 11 months ago. It's something that I have done two times and <clears throat> it's helped me tremendously. So, there's a lot of things that I've done over the last 11 months to help me lose my 73 pounds. You know, the main things are staying under 2,000 calories a day, going to the gym minimum three days a week, minimum, and only having two cheat meals a week, usually one on Thursday and one over the weekend. Sometimes the cheat meal is like a cheat snack um, instead of an actual like fast food kind of meal but there and 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 I and I eat I'll give you an example I eat things like the Greek yogurt uh, I these these fit crunch bar uh, I always pack my lunch <clears throat> right here Six ounces of chicken, one cup of vegetables, um, something. I love these kind bars. These are great. But there's one thing that I've done over the last 11 months that has helped me to lose weight that I don't think I've mentioned in a video or on Facebook before. And that is this. When I started losing weight and I started having to get new clothes because some of my clothes were a 3x and some of them were a 2x my shirts didn't matter if it was like a regular t-shirt or a work shirt when it came to having to buy new clothes i i would buy the next size down okay so when i was still wearing 2x shirts i started buying hey cliff i started buying extra large shirts and when I bought them they were tight on me I mean they weren't like crazy crazy tight but but they were tight and I would buy like five or ten of those shirts I'd end up spending a couple hundred dollars and I'm like I'm like damn I, I just spent all this money on these shirts and they're tight I mean they weren't like crazy crazy tight but they were more tight than what I'm comfortable wearing and that would force me that every time I went to eat something, like a cheat meal or something, I'd be like, you know what, maybe I'm going to wait and not eat this because I just spent all this money about all these clothes and I want to be able to fit into them. Same thing with my pants. When I started with my pants, I was a size 42 inch waist. Uh, and what I did was I bought three pairs of pants that were a 38 inch waist. Those pairs of pants were like 25, 30 bucks each. So I was spending like $75 on pants. I put them on and they fit and I was able to button them after I lost about 20 pounds or so, but they were a little tight. They were a little snug. So what I did was is I would I would work out and I would work out and I would eat right to the point where I'm like, you know what? I just spent all this money on these pants. I got to watch what I'm doing so I can fit into them so I can wear them. So, and then once I got down to where the, the size 38 pants were fitting comfortably, I went out and bought three more pairs of pants that were a size 36. I put them on. I can button them, but they're like tight. I mean, they're not like crazy, crazy tight, but they're tight to the point where I, I would not go out in public. I would not wear those. They were tight. And I'm like, man. And again, it would play with my mind. Whenever I'm looking at a cheat meal or a snack, I'm thinking that are slightly. I just spent seventy-five dollars on pants that are slightly too tight. Do I want to eat this snack or this cheat meal because I want to be able to fit into my clothes? Okay, and at the same time, I'm throwing away the clothes that are now getting too big. Because I don't want to have those, what some people call my skinny clothes and my fat clothes. There's no more fat clothes anymore. 
they're gone. I trashed them, they're gone. So if I were to start gaining weight, everything would be too tight. And I ended up, when I got those 36 pants, and they started to fit more comfortable to the point where I'm like, okay, now, now these size 36 pants fit me right. Then I went out and bought three more pairs of size 34 pants, which is what I'm wearing now, 34 pants. And my goal from day one, 11 months ago, was to get down to a size 34 inch waist. That was my goal. I started at a 42. My goal was to get down to a 34. So I now, I, I bought the three pairs of 34 inch pants. And when I put them on, they were, they were snug. I was able to button them, but they were snug. They weren't crazy tight, but they were snug. A little bit more snug than I feel comfortable with around the thighs and around the waist. But I'm like, you know what? I've, I've got to fit better into these pants. So again, play with my mind. Every time I go and I'm looking at um, eating a cheat meal or something, uh, I would think I just spent 75 more dollars again <clears throat> on new pants that are a size 34. And in this whole time, I'm also spending money on going from shirts from extra large down to large. So now all my shirts, the majority of my shirts are a size large and all my pants are a size 34. So the size 34 pants, when they started to fit comfortably, which was about maybe two months ago or so, a, mo a month ago, a month and a half ago, uh, the 34 inch waist is what I wanted to get down to. So I bought three more pairs of size 34 pants. So now I own, there's like five or six pairs of 34 pants. And that's where I want it to be. That's my goal. I got down to my 34 inch waist pants. So do I still have these 42 inch pants, the 32 inch pants or the uh, 38 inch pants? I don't have them. I, I got rid of them. Uh, either sold them on eBay to get some money back. Um, or donated them to Goodwill. And they're only a couple, They're all of them are always less than six months old. So that's my secret. Buy clothes that are a size smaller than what you are, okay? And don't wear those size, don't wear, don't be, <laughs> don't be that guy that goes out there and buys the size that's too small shirt and it's like glued to their body and they got all their fat, hanging out I, that's very unattractive <laughs> that's, that's kind of gross actually i was never that kind of guy my clothes when i was a bigger guy my clothes were always um i guess like a classic fit you know they weren't tight because i didn't like the way that that tightness felt and i and i didn't like the way that i looked but that's one of my secrets that i don't think i've ever talked about on facebook before was to buy clothes that are a size slightly smaller than what you are okay and then you lose weight and you work to fit into those clothes and as you're getting as these other clothes are getting too big for you get rid of those clothes don't have the oh you know um, i'm feeling fat today i'm gonna wear a size bigger clothes uh -uh. i got rid of mine i got rid of mine and that way if i if i feel like i'm like if I gain like a couple pounds and I'm putting on my size 34 pants, I can feel it. I can feel it. And that gauges me. So I know, all right. I mean, plus I weigh myself every morning. Another thing I did is I've actually gone through three belts. I had the belt when I started, when I was a 42 inch waist, I have that belt. That belt got too big. So I ended up buying a size 36 belt, I think is what it was, or a 38 belt, one of the two. And that got that that still fit me fine, but the extra uh, length part was sticking out way too far, uh, and it was just too long of a belt. So now I'm down down to my third belt that I just bought is a size 34 belt that fits perfect uh, and can go down to like a 32 inch waist. But my goal was 34, and I hit my goal. But that's my better size. And 
as a gauge. Again, I have a single morning and I count it down to the ounces. Today, I weigh two ounces yesterday. And last night, I had a cheat snack, which was in little Snickers bars. My calories for yesterday, I think, were like 3,400 a day. Um, but that's it. I don't think I ever talked about it here on Facebook or any of my uh, videos. Buy clothes that are that you work and do what you need to do to fit into those clothes because you just 